Hey! Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Now things are gonna get a little tricky tournament wise and since I'm gonna be using these characters, well, it could be dicey. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm using Star Luigi here, and I'm going to be doing the Star Tournament. Now, the mushroom courses are those individual holes that I've been unlocking along the way. And they're going to set you up with 30 greens, back tees, and all the star holes that you unlock. Now, since I haven't un actually unlocked them on the, the emulated game, I'm again playing this on the GameCube where I do have them all unlocked. But the reason why I have to do that is because they are... Uh, you know, you gotta connect the Toads to the Tour and stuff like that. But anyway, as you can see here, we got some mushroom elements going on here, like literal mushrooms out there. Uh, warp pipes, if you plop your ball in one, it'll poop you out the other, but I don't really see the benefit of that on this particular hole, so I think I'm just gonna hit myself out there nice and straight, and then uh, pitch onto the green for birdie. Now, in the star tournaments, you've also got to be watching out for the competitors this time, because there's a they actually get pretty low scores this time, so you've actually got to focus on playing pretty well, <laughs> believe it or not. But uh, with Luigi here, I don't think it'll be that much of an issue, especially since this is, you know, it's still the Marion course, regardless of tournament greens and the Mushroom Kingdom type elements and stuff like that. So I don't think it's going to be that difficult for me to beat the field, but we shall see. One under through one hole, that's a good start. Uh, now, just hopefully, for the sake of showing you stuff, I'm going to try and get it into the pipe and watch it pop out if it lands in there properly yeah <laughs> so yeah as you can tell if you manage to get inside one of the pipes uh it'll poop you out at the next corresponding colored pipe but if you miss you might have a pipe in your face so, so it's kind of a high risk move um you in toadstool tour you're able to land your ball on pipes but I haven't been able to pull it off in this game. It's like, if you land anywhere on top of the pipe sprite, it just warps you over to the next pipe. So it's not like I'm aiming, aiming able to aim towards the edge of a pipe or something. And there's also item boxes that you can get along the way here, but some of them are kinda, kinda too far out, out of the way to go for, so I'm gonna only go for the ones that are actually beneficial to my score. Uh, and there will be some along the way that are beneficial to my uh, aiming and stuff like that, you know, that are in my uh, way of aiming. Uh, and you get items in there via like Mario Kart style slot machine type things. And there's various effects that you can get from them. I'm not going to tell you what they are immediately. I'll play through all the tournaments and stuff like that. Uh, that's disappointing to get a power, but <laughs> but yeah, uh, just for the sake of you know non-spoilers, I will just sort of kind of keep it to myself for now until I reach the Link Star course, because uh, you never know if we'll be able to see all the all the items along the way anyway. And you don't you don't really hold items like you do in Mario Kart though. You just kind of you just kind of get the effects of the item immediately. Let's just put it that way. Uh, anyway, let's just rip our ball over here, past the other... Wow, that's... Holy poopers! Well, how did I overhit it that much? <laughs> I don't know, but it's not that bad of an outcome. Okay, so I'm just gonna pop it out of here, a little backspin to control it. And it should be okay. Just look at that. There we go. Maybe it's a little too much backspin based on where I landed, but eh, it's fine. I'll just move it a little to what the? <laughs> I... Whoa! Oh, stop there, ball! Stop there, ball! <laughs> yeah, I moved it a little to the left, but it didn't break that much at all. It was kind of weird. And man, that is one really fast green. Uh, I might actually have to switch over to yeah. Uh, let's just go a little past the marquee there, and droppy there. <laughs> That's awkward getting a power on a power 5. I've got to step it up if I want to compete here. Okay, now this is one of the opportunities that you can actually hit the box. <laughs> I should say a hidden item box, so here we go. Let's rip it, and here, what do we get? What do we get? What do we get? We get a power shot! <laughs> 
but we'll see if I even need that sort of thing. But anyway, for now, I'm just gonna play to the green normally, and... Backspin! Drop and stop, drop and stop, I say! <laughs> Fast greens. Mm, hitting past the mark, not changing the cursor or anything. Clearly, I'm being fooled by the greens. <laughs> so, uh, oh, here's another one that I could hit into. I don't want to get myself too far to the left here. Uh, so I'm going to curve left to right. And see, I got seven power shots rather than six because I got that mushroom. So it, it so that's, I guess technically that is an item that you can use later. Oh, wind change. That could be bad or good. At, uh, oh, that's bad. Because <laughs> it was at zero before. Uh, yeah, that's okay. I just want to show you the effects of the wind, uh, the blocks anyway, and wind doesn't scare me. I've played in 22 mile per hour winds at the Lynx course. Nothing can scare me after doing that. <laughs> uh, Alright, on the flat spot of course, and you know, just drop it in. No big deal. Hole 7, ooh, the pin is at a nice flat spot there. Now if I if were to manage to actually hit into this, that would be spectacular. Because I could definitely reach the green in two. Do I dare? I think I dare. Because I think if I miss, it'll just bounce off the pipe and then I'll have a clear shot forward anyway. But let's see... Yeah! <laughs> so that means I can reach the green in two and go for eagle. And... Let's see if I can take advantage of that. I probably can. I just gotta get the right... Yeah, I'm just gonna play it safe off to the left. Super backspin. Oh, I mishit that, but well, I think it'll be just fine because it's gonna get a lot of it's gonna get a big forward bounce anyway. Yeah, nice and safe. I wasn't playing to get close to the hole or anything like that because I know I'm gonna make this putt back for eagle as long as I get over to that flat spot. Woo! Yeah, <laughs> and that's the power of the mushrooms course elements. Well, I should say star course elements. Wait, can I even hit that item box with my? I don't know if I... I can't see where... I guess I... I don't... No, I can't... <laughs> Maybe I should just forget about the box in this one. <laughs> I just do it normally. Because this, this, it seems like it's out of the way again. And let's see if I can control it with super backspin with his low shot trajectory. And control, control, control! Yeah! Nice! On the flat spot and everything. And Ocarina Green gives me a birdie. Woo! <laughs> Things are looking pretty good here. Uh, is that a mushroom? Is, yeah, it is. <laughs> that's awfully strategic. Uh, can I, like, go around... Uh, it would be funny if I could hit in this pipe, because I know where it leads to. Let's see if I can do it and show you how, how it goes. Oh, good impact! <laughs> Alright. Go in, go in, go in, yeah! <laughs> it's the little patch of fairway that no one would ever hit to normally. <laughs> that's where the pipe leads to. I wonder if that's what they had in mind all along with that little patch of fairway. Because, seriously, I don't know anyone who would dare to hit that little patch of fairway, like, on a, on a round that they want to get a low score on. It's just too, too risky. And... I don't know about this one. I think I'm gonna have to move it a little, t a little smidge to the left, but I don't know because of the rain. I'm gonna hit there and hit past the mark. Please go in, yeah! <laughs> I will take it. And let's uh, got another box opportunity here. I guess uh, maybe I should just hit it normally, like straight out there and into the box. See how things turn out. Maybe I can get a weather change and. Uh, erase the rain or uh, oh I missed the box <laughs> or maybe I could uh, get no wind who knows it's all about the luck when you hit into the box and I would like to show you all the potential stuff that you can get from the boxes but eh, at the very least I'll be able to tell you after uh, I mean when I get to the links course because I know which ones you know what they do and whatnot if they don't come up during a regular round but we'll see yeah Woo! Just routinely getting birdies here, left and right, no big deal. <laughs> um, I'm gonna... Uh, should I go for that, or shouldn't I? Uh, I'm gonna go f I think I'm gonna, yeah, I think I'm gonna go for it, just because if I miss, it's a par 5, 
and I'll be able to reach the green in regulation anyway. So, yeah. oh yeah! <laughs> See, it just like vanishes whenever it goes anywhere near the top portion of the pipe. And there's another little giblet of fairway that you never hit to normally. But <laughs> yeah, best drive, as if I did that under my own power. Um, I can't really see, but I think if I use super backspin, everything will be just fine. I think, yes! Well, maybe that was too much. Eh, I don't think I'll have to move the cursor, though. So let's go for eagle, and hope it drops for eagle. Yeah! <laughs> I think I'm pretty, doing pretty well here. <laughs> um, can I hit that box? Uh, I don't. No, I don't think I can do so. At least not safely. But I will hit on that side of the ball at the bottom left corner because I want. I want to feed the ball into the green at such an angle. Oh, I mishit that. I think it's going to end up in the rough. Eh, we'll see. Ooh, that actually turned out nice. Much better than I was expecting. And tap in for birdie. <laughs> There we go. I just wanted to be a little past the hole so it would be safely on the flat spot, but no, nah, it wasn't even necessary. Uh, I'm gonna pop that through the box and see see what comes out of it. If it hits the box, I think it will though. Yeah! Alright, what do we get? What do we get? We get... Oh no, rain! Actually, that might be helpful come to think of it because the rain will help me stop the ball a little better, but it... Uh, in a normal circumstances, I probably would be more worried about the rain because it makes greens a little, a little more finicky with the regular greens. You know how they stop so quickly. And all I want to do is plop this on the flat spot. Why did that bounce? I mean, I'm only using a six iron. Well, whatever. I gotta switch to normal now. And way past the mark because of the rain. Heck yeah! I didn't move the cursor at all there, by the way, because it was gonna be speedy after I first hit the ball. So yeah. Alright, what do I got here? I don't really think the pipe is worth it this time, because I'm not going to really get that much more distance. I think I'm just going to go around the bend there, create a little draw, and top spin it. Well, I mean, I miss hit a little bit there, but there's so much fairway that it's not really that big of a deal. And there we go. Yeah, see, I, the pipe would have just plopped me up a little bit further, and then I might have had trees in my way too, with Luigi's low shot trajectory, so... Who knows? Um, I'd like to hit it into the rough like that, but I don't know if I can actually hold like the, the way that I want it to go. So I'm gonna go three iron over everything with super bat. Oh, I landed in the rough. Dang it! <laughs> oh well. Um, chip in time. Can we get a chip in with a character that has a fade? Maybe. Let's try it. So it's a little too much to the right, I think. Let's go for it! And top spin because of the rain, and I under hit it! Go, 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 go! Aww! <laughs> That's okay, I guess. It's disappointing to get pars, but it's okay, I guess. I'm too up. Uh, I could hit through the box. Let's dare to hit through the box, just because. Even though it's probably a bad idea, because it could increase the wind or cause rain or so. Oh, I missed it anyway. <laughs> I missed it anyway. But, any, I just want to get myself onto the green in regulation and birdie anyway. So I'm gonna... Actually, you know what would be safer? Aiming for, like, over there, and then just letting the slope of the green push it back in place. Like, onto the flat spot over to the right of it. Watch this, watch this. Oop. And control. Uh, maybe that's a little too much spin. But, and, yeah, we're fine. I think I don't have to move the cursor or anything like that to make the putt. I just need to hit it, and it should go. Well, you know, hit it with the right amount of power. Alright, um... I don't think that pipe is worth it again, so... I'm gonna curve up to that skinny section. Preferably, because um, it, it kind of is away from, yeah, the mushrooms. Not, not the skinny section on top, I'm talking about the skinny section down in the valley type place. Uh, oh, I actually think I'm on the valley, but because I got such a low trajectory, but I can control it with Super Baxman, even though it's going to come in low. I got a lot of green to work with, and that's why I played it there for, you know, yeah, there we go. 
Nice! So, 20 feet for another birdie. Well, 90.7 to be precise, but I rounded up. Woo! <laughs> and 17. I'm going to... Was that a delay in the music? That was weird. <laughs> uh, I can't hit the box, can I? No, I'm just going to go for the green normally and feed it in left to right, as I was planning to do. And a little backspin to keep it under control. Uh, it didn't quite come in at the angle that I wanted, so it's down below the hole, but I think this is doable. Just move it a smidge to the right. Lock past the mark because it's uphill, and there we go. The birdies just keep on rolling. Uh, last hole. Look at that. Look at that blue pipe leads to you. At least that little giblet of fairway over there. Again, that you would never hit to normally. Um, I could try to go for eagle again. <laughs> just by going into, uh, or at least attempting to go into the pipe. And, oh, I overhit that. I don't think this is going to work. Well, we'll see, I guess. It might work. It might not. No, it will not. That's okay, though. It was worth a shot for the fun of it, at the very least. I mean, I'm two up, so... And I'm going to end up birding this hole anyway, because it's a par 5. Uh, well, I would think I would birdie this hole, because it's a par 5. I mean, let's be honest here. Uh, it's going to bounce off the side slope and feed in. There we go. By the way, I like those little star bunker additions. That's a nice little touch. And a little backspin to control it. Nothing too much, because... Yeah, it's going to backspin off the green at such a high trajectory. And control! <laughs> <laughs> there we go, and there's my birdie. Pretty much guaranteed. <laughs> and there we go. Woo! <laughs> so, look at all, look at the field this time though. 15 under par was the closest to me. And by the way, I forgot to show you who's playing this tournament too. It appears it's like is that KK Slider maybe? Could be, could be. Who knows? Yeah, Mr. Rossetti's in here too, so. We got some Animal Crossing critters going on in here. And, anyway, I win. <laughs> As you would have expected on such an easy course. And with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoy, and I will see you in the next part.